Hey everyone, take a look at this Bronze Smoke Metallic 2022 Lincoln Aviator in the 201A Reserve Package. What a gorgeous looking vehicle. This one is upfitted with the sandstone interior and it looks phenomenal. It also has a few upgrades. Let's check them out together. So under the hood, this has the super powerful three liter twin turbo V6 engine, 400 horsepower out of that engine and still really good on fuel. This also has an around view camera system. So there's a camera in the front grill under both mirrors and in the back. The vehicle also has these beautiful headlights. This has the upgraded illumination package. So the headlights are upgraded to the um, full LED pixel headlights with light bending technology. So bend the light around the corner. Uh, they are awesome and they're fully automatic, including auto high beam. LED fog lights to go with those. And to go with that camera system I mentioned, there is front park sensors. So if you get too close to something in the garage, those will beep and go off at you. Vehicle also has a forward collision warning system. That means that if somebody steps out in front of this vehicle and you do not brake, it will brake for you. Uh, the other nice thing that I like to mention on this one with that uh, illumination pack, the Lincoln Star in the front does light up, which is pretty cool. This also has the upgraded 22 inch wheels on it and they look amazing. They almost look like they're moving right while they're sitting still. And if you see this sensor right here, this does have the self park feature. Um, very beautiful feature being able to put this big beast in and out of parallel parking spots for you. It says aviator on the side. That is the only place you'll see it as this is practically debadged. Um, nice blacked out mirrors with LED signal lights in them. The mirrors are a power heated mirror. They're also power folding their memory and they have a blind spot system in them right here so that'll light up when somebody's in your blind spot to get in or out of this vehicle you can just put in your code in the entry pad system right here uh, or if you want you can put your hand inside the lock uh, it'll unlock with the heat of your hands um, or of course you can use this key fob right here with unlock lock remote start power lift gate and alarm and you see when I lock it the mirrors power fold in which is so nice uh, on the back, it is tinted windows, which look great. As we open up the doors, you'll see your first look at this beautiful interior. Uh, you do have the sunshades in the back for your rear passengers. The Revel stereo system speakers look great. No door handles. You just use your thumb to press this button to unlock the door. And then these seats here. So you have dual captain's chairs in the sandstone interior. These are heated and air conditioned rear seats, which is pretty special. This is bridge of wear leather. So it is an upgraded leather from the highlands of scotland they've been making quality leather products for 100 years so also has the full console upgrade and you can even control the rear uh, the power shade for the power sunroof from that button right there so up top it does have a power shade um, which is really nice you have a nice screen back here for your rear passengers to adjust their climate their heated and air-conditioned seats you also have usb charging ports and a full standard household plug um, which is great let's go around here and you'll see the back of this vehicle it does have quad tipped exhaust giving it a nice sporty feel this also has an upgraded trailer tow hitch on this package here so there's a trailer tow package underneath that and you can pull just over five thousand pounds uh, the vehicle does have a power lift gate you can either do it from the key or you can wave your foot like a magic wand and that works too lots of cargo space back here and this third row is full power up and down so we can just hit this button here and the seats come up all the way power you also have some extra storage underneath here which is really nice always great to have more storage let's go to the front of this car and check out some of those features so I'll unlock the door here and you'll see again those beautiful speaker covers from that rebel stereo system we have all our seat adjustments up here and these seats are amazing i'll talk about them in a minute but they do have thigh adjustments even headrest adjustments you have all your memory adjustments and this is how you bring up some more adjustments on the screen power locks power folding mirrors and power windows on the dash beautifully trimmed you've got those full set it and forget it auto headlights fog lights and power lift gate it does light up the word lincoln when you get in and at night it actually shines that uh, nice lincoln emblem like a doormat right on the ground now these seats are beautiful they're called a perfect position seat um, they are heated and air conditioned but they are also massaging uh, on the steering wheel you do have power tilt and telescopic adjustments and then you do have lane departure warning system which you can turn on or off just by pressing this button let's climb inside and take a look at some of the features here so we'll go ahead and hit the push button start 
and that is going to start it. You see the clouds come up as this is an aviator and aviation is the theme. Then we've got a nice full digital display there. Uh, up top, you do have also now um, your uh, heads up display, which is standard on the 201A and the 2022s, um, which is nice for digital speedometer rate in your windshield. Uh, you've got some controls on the steering wheel, volume controls, the stereo controls. This button for cruise control, you'll see nothing is displayed here until I press that button. Then we have cruise control controls here and the cruise control is intelligent and adaptive. What's that? Well, adaptive, you can slow down uh, using the distance of the vehicle in front of you or you can set it so that the speed limit slows you down or speeds you up as you go by a speed limit sign, really cool. It also has lane centering technology, so that's a semi-autonomous driving system. You turn that feature on, it'll steer the steering wheel for you using the lines on the road. We've got some more controls for phone and for stereo and for some of the display up top there here. This is a bridge of wear leather wrap steering wheel and it is heated and feels like a warm cup of coffee first thing in the morning, which is great. Nice floating screen right here with all kinds of different information in it. It is Wi-Fi, um, so you can use it and connect up to 12 devices as a booster. It's got a hard-based navigation system. It also has a Apple CarPlay as well as Android Auto, so you can sync your smartphone to this, plug it in, and this becomes your smartphone. Use the maps from your phone, Spotify, podcasts, all kinds of stuff up there. Coming down here, you got some buttons. This is for the self-park feature. Press that, and it's going to ask us if we want to navigate to parking or park the vehicle itself. We have a round view camera system. Press this and you can see all around the vehicle. And then this one turns on some quick settings. Auto start stop, if you ever want to turn that off. Auto hold, which holds the vehicle for one pedal. And that means I just press the gas when I want to go and the brakes already held. And traction control, and then we can go into additional settings there too if we want. Come down below, we have our piano key style shifters. So nice and easy to shift into gear. Uh, volume controls for our stereo and all our climate control settings, including those heated seats, or sorry, heated seats, air conditioned seats and heated steering wheel. We can bring up the menu for our climate control up on the screen if we want, or if we press the rear button, we can bring up the rear control, which they're actually separate for second and third row heat controls or air conditioned controls, and I love that. Uh, I was telling you about those fantastic seats. So if we go ahead and press this button, it is gonna bring up the whole host of menu for adjusting all the different lumbar positions, or if we wanna hit massage, both the driver and the passenger can now be getting a massage. I'm getting a massage while making this video. It is great. Um, come down here, these are all covered up nicely. If you open it up, you do have USB and USB-Cs and space to put things. Your cup holders, which is awesome. Now in your cup holders, there are lights, and I do love the ambient lighting setting. Just bring you into this one more second and you'll see, we can actually pick seven different colors, one for every day of the week for the inside of your car. Awesome. Then you have your electronic park brake and you have drive modes. What are drive modes? Go into your display here and as I move this over, you'll see we can go from normal to slippery to deep snow, mud or sand conditions, go the other direction and we can change the engine. We can go to conserve or we can go to excite. So one obviously pulls up all the horsepower, the other dials it back a little bit for fuel economy. Nice big center console. Open this up and you've got a nice little place to put things in here, 12 volt charger. And then this right here is your wireless charger standard on the Tool 1A package. Up top, frameless electrochromatic auto dimming mirror, very stylish. Then we have controls for our map lights, which are soft touch and LED controls for our sunroof and power shade. And then speaking of shades, sunglasses holder to throw your shades in. Garage door openers up top as well. The last thing I just want to talk about is this model has been upfitted with the adaptive suspension, um, which is pretty cool. It will lower itself to help you get in and it even predicts the road uh, using the camera system. So if it sees a bump, it's going to smooth that out for you. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Do me a huge favor and click subscribe to this channel. Go ahead and hit the bell icon for notifications. You'll be notified every time I make a video. And then if you can give this uh, video a thumbs up, that'll be huge and help my channel. Thanks and have a great day, everyone.